Hello friend, in this video demonstration we are going to see um, what is group policy security filtering and how it works. So first thing is that uh, group policy can't be applied directly to groups. We have to link a group policy at the site, domain or available. The policies apply to either computers and or user accounts. So suppose you have a policy that you want to only apply to a subset of users in computers. So what can we do for that? The simple answer is for that purpose we can use group policy security setting. So what is security filtering? Security filtering is a way of refining which user and computer will receive and apply the settings in a group policy object. Using security filtering, you can specify that only certain security principle within the container where the GPU is link apply the GPU. Security group filtering determines whether the GPU as a whole applies to a group, users or computers. It cannot be used selectively on a different settings within a GPU. In order for the GPU to apply to a given user or computer, that user or computer must have a both read and apply group policy permission on the GPU either explicitly or effectively through group membership. By default all GPU have a read and uh, apply group policy both allow for the authenticated users group and the authenticated users group includes both users and computer. Let's see that. For that purpose, I'm going to open gpmc.msc, that's group policy management console. And inside that, let's check what is the default permission for particular any GPU. Let's select uh, default domain policy. Okay. And now we see under security filtering, we are seeing authenticated users. Okay, so this is the uh, default settings every group policy object have a authenticated users under security filtering now click on a delegation tab here is the authenticated users and if we say the allow permission is read from uh, security filtering if you click on uh, advance and click over authenticated users as we are seeing we have a read permission as well as apply group policy allow permission so okay and that is the reason why this policy is applicable for all users groups and computers under my library logger because every group every user account every computer account fall under authenticated users because every object in active directory which is authenticated by active directory fall under authenticated users so this is how all authenticated users receive the settings of a new GPO when it is applied to an organization unit, domain or site. So we are going to see what exactly this security filtering and how it works in a demonstration. So for that, let's check what we have. First of all, I have a sales team OU under my domain that is a MyLabDot local and already I created a two user. One Sanjay Joshi and second is a Rajesh Sa. Rajesh Ta, as well as uh, I created a two uh, group security group group and that are global group uh, one is a sales manager and second one is a sales user so I want to add Rajesh Sa into sales user Let's check name click on ok apply and ok so now Rajesh Sa is a member of sales user and as well as I want to specify Sanjay Jusi as a Sales manager member Sanjay, click on check name. Okay, line okay. Under group policy management, we have a sales team, and now I'm going to create a GP on this domain and link it here with our sales team. We specify the uh, GPO name that is sales GPO. Click OK. That is. Now, as we are seeing under security filtering, still we have authenticated users. So that means whatever we specify inside the cell GPU, 
that policy will applicable to all users, groups, or computer account for inside sales team OU. And by default, we have a uh, uh, Rajesh and Sanjay Joshi that are the only two users inside the OU. So, uh, for testing purpose, I'm just going to specify a simple policy. So, right click on a GPO and then you can select edit. Inside uh, under user configuration, it's on the policy. We have administrative template settings. And here we go. Series of certain policies like control panel applets and uh, desktops and networks and start menus related. Uh, for example, let's uh, set a policy that is a uh, lock the taskbar. Currently on a Windows 8 computer, we have a Sanjay Joshi and that is already logged on to the computer. If you see, user can uh, unlock the taskbar setting and then he can move the taskbar, whatever he, he want and that we don't want. So I'm going to specify the policy, lock the taskbar, click on apply, click on OK. So now if we check this, uh, click on settings. So now we have a just a simple setting that we apply the policy for uh, all users under the sales team. OU and that is lock the taskbar. Now on a Windows 8 machine, let's run the command by running GP update command and do the same on uh, other computer which we have a uh, and where we log in as a Rajasa. Mm, GP update. Okay, so on Windows 8.20 computer, uh, the policy is successfully updated. And now if you check that, see the policy is applied to Sanjay Jusi and uh, he is member of sales manager so it doesn't matter what groups what users are you member of that whenever you apply a GPU on a particular OU level that GPU will apply cable to all users computers or group accounts under the particular OU now if you check the same thing on a Windows 7 Windows 7 and here's the policy applied successfully on Windows 7 as well so now we are going to apply the security fil filtering in this case we just want this policy whatever we created a GPO on uh, sales team that GPO apply, must apply only on sales users not on a sales manager but on sales managers uh, for example Sanjay Jusi or whatever other users are there that is stored under sales team and we want that GPO, cell GPO, which uh, we attach to cell steam OU, whatever is set inside the cell GPO, that must be applied on only, for example, cell user. So that time we can use security filtering. Now, to do this, under security filtering, click on a cell GPO, and under security filtering, click on authenticated user, remove that and click on add here we're going to specify sales user on which we want to apply the GPO click on check names click on OK and now they are here we click on a property member and Raja size there so this policy will only apply on sales users and uh, member of that particular group and that is currently we have a Raja Sa only so click on OK and if you see on a delegation, we have a sales user and if you see the property, sorry, if you see click on advanced options and then we find read and apply group policy, AGP is currently allowed. So click on OK and now let's check that. Again, come back on a Windows 8.1 uh, machine and I have a, again I'm going to run a GP update command as well as on a Windows 7 also here is the Rajasa and uh, Rajasa is a member of the sales user group so that GPO or uh, that policy must have to apply on Rajasa and not to on Sanjay Joshi because Sanjay Joshi is a member of sales manager so let's check that on Windows 7 where uh, Rajasa is already logging if you check over there the policy is applied because uh, that user Rajasa is a member of 
search result drops and for that let's run rsop.msc if we check over here under user configuration in the property as we are seeing that is a search gpu and that is applied on uh, this user as well as computer account so click on ok if you check on uh, Sanjay Joshi and uh, same over here just uh, going to run rsop.msc and if you check over there click on close if you check over here uh, taskbar is user can lock and unlock and if you see under user configuration uh, if we click on a property and here is cell so GPU is there but it's saying not applied unknown reason the actual reason is a group policy security filtering so that's it for this demonstration uh, thank you for watching this video